Hey guys, it's Jason from the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to swab the poop deck and gather some booty. And maybe get marked. And we're going to play a game called Pirate's Mark. Pirate's Mark is a game for 2 to 10 players from Puzzle, P-U-Z-Z-O-L, Creative. And what you're doing in this is it's effectively a ginormous game of Go Fish. But you're not trying to get certain cards. You're trying to stay away from that infamous Pirate's Mark because you don't want to get marked. You get marked, you might get out of the game. You get too many marks, you're going to die. That's scary. So you're trying to bid to see how many of these cards you think you can pull out of the o the sea um people can call your bluff if they call your bluff and you get a pirate's mark they can come back into the game we'll explain some of that stuff later but effectively you want to dive into this sea and not get marked so that's the gist of it let's go to the table and check it out all right so here's a game of pirate's mark all set up for two players sort of so because of the size of my table i had to kind of improvise with the size of the grid it's supposed to be 10 by 13, but I've done 10 by 9, and I've doubled up the last four rows to simulate the additional four rows. So all the cards are here, but it would go up an additional four. My table just not big enough for that. So in a two-player game, it's going to function a little differently, and I'm going to go over just a two-player game right now, and during the final thoughts, I'll talk about the differences in a multiplayer game. But we're just going to look at the two-player game and what happens in there, how you at the game ends and how you win and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. So in a two player game, you're gonna roll this die. That's gonna tell you how many cards you're trying to pick. What you're trying to do is you're trying to dive into this sea here to get cards that are not pirate's marks. You want to be the last player alive. And in a two player game, the first person to get five pirate marks loses because there's nine in the game, in a two player game. So that means one person could get four, one person will get five, or some person may get five, and the other person might get any, might not get any, but that's what it is. So let's go ahead and get started. So there'll be a player sitting over on this side, and then they'll simulate a player sitting on this side. This player will go first. They're going to roll. They rolled a 10. So they have to pull 10 cards. 10 cards. Let me put that somewhere where you can see it. 10 cards. I'm going to spin this die down so we can get, um, so we can keep track. So I'm just going to grab. And anytime I take off these back rows here, I'm just gonna take the top card. So it's gonna kind of simulate pulling from another row. So let's go ahead and do one of those. So let's pull this one. We got treasure. Treasure is good. That means you don't get a pirate's mark and you don't get a curse. There's some curse cards in here. There's some luck. There's some cards that are just, you know, treasure, jewels, whatever. So that's 10. Now we're going down to nine. Let's pull this one. Jewels. Good, no issue. Now we gotta pull eight. Uh, let's go back up to the top of here. Treasure, boom. Now we're doing seven. Let's go ahead and take this one. Plunder, all right, so this is a card that I can keep. It's a luck card, you can see the little clover here. And what you're gonna do here is you can play this card to steal a card from somebody else. So if they had another good card that you wanted, you can play that and steal it. So I'll put that there. You can't really see it, but I'll put it right there so you know. So now we're down to six. Take this one. Pieces of eight. Done, down to five. Rubies, rubies are good. Basically anything that's not a card that you keep, you discard. You only need to keep the pirate's marks and the cards you keep. I'm down to four. More pieces of eight. Down to three. Just keep going. More rubies, these are some good pulls right here. Down to two. Rum, pirates love rum. Down to one. Let's take this one. Treasure, arr, okay. And then well, that's it, so we're done, we're done. All right, then all the cards that I pulled, we'll just get discarded, I'm gonna tuck them under the camera because you don't need to see those. All right, and then that was this player's turn. They have their card they can use on their turn or whenever they want to, when it applies, they can do that. Other player, they're gonna roll. They're gonna have to pull one card. So they're gonna take this one. 
Mass Mutiny. So this is a curse card. Every unmarked player chooses one card for you to pull. So in more than a two-player game, some players are going to be marked. That's going to mean something that they have a pirate's mark, and other players are not. Or in a multiplayer game, but in a two-player game, you're you're both marked and unmarked. So the cards are going to just talk about the other player. So in this um, this card, this player is going to have them pull another card, and I'll say they need to pull this one. So they're going to go ahead and pull that one. Parrot, good to go. All right. Back to me, I'm gonna go ahead and roll. I have one, so let's just pull another one. Mutiny, play this card to force one player to pull an additional card. So I can pull that, play that whenever I want to, to make the other player pull an additional card. So that's pretty cool. All right, back to the other player. Come on, that's not interesting, let's keep rolling. Uh, there we go, no, I'm gonna get higher numbers. There we go, there's an eight. All right, let's go, let's do it. So this player is pulling eight. Plunder. So the same thing that I've pulled before. That's one. So they were down to seven. Jewels. Down to six. Let's go back here. Jewels. That's five. Take another one. Sword. Gotta have a sword. That's four. Treasure, that's three. Eye patch, because pirates have an eye patch. Two more left. Jewels, one more left. Jewels, boom, good turn. All right, I'm trying to keep going until I pull pirate spark, because I'd like you to see what those look like. So it's back to this player's turn, I think. I don't know, I'm getting confused, but that's fine. You just need to see how to play. So, ooh, a zero. Nice, they're not going to pull any. So, back to that player. Four. Let's see what we can get. They're just going to pull both. Uh, they pull this one. Pieces of eight. That's solid. Pull this one. Treasure, that's solid. Two more. So, they'll pull this one. Treasure. One more. Treasure. Done. All right. Back to whatever the other player is, they'll roll. Three. Treasure, one. Pistol, you gotta have a pistol, two. Pieces of eight for three. All right, let me just dive into here and see if I can show you what a pirate's mark looks like so you can kind of see it. Walk the plank, there's a bunch. There we go, pirate's mark will look like that. There's nine of these in the deck. So you don't want to get five of these because that's bad. So you're basically just trying to go around like this until, one more rule, until there's 10 or less cards or one pirate's mark left. And then it's going to go into dual mode. And this is going to be similar to the multiplayer game. Each player is going to pull one card at a time. And the person who pulls the last pirate's mark loses. So that's effectively how you play pirate's mark. Let's go up the top, see what we think about it, and talk about the differences between two-player and multiplayer. All right, well, that was Pirate's Mark, two-player variant. So like I said in the run-through, I wanted to talk about the differences here from multiplayer to two-player. So in two-player, the game functions like you saw. You're gonna roll the die, pull that many cards, try not to be the first person to get five Pirate's Marks because then you lose. In a multiplayer game, it's gonna function, the gameplay is gonna go the same way of the drawing the cards and all that thing, but Instead of rolling the die, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be bidding. So if I was, I could say, hey, I think I'm going to bid, I think I can pull eight cards without drawing a pirate's mark, and then keep going around. And if someone thinks that I can't do that, they can call my bluff. The person right after you in the bid cannot do that, but anybody else could. So they say, no, I don't think you can do that, so prove it. So then I'd reach into there. If I pull a pirate's mark, my turn ends, then the next player goes. Now, if you ever get a pirate's mark, you're effectively kind of out of the game for, for reaching in and digging cards purposes, but you can get rid of your mark by calling someone's bluff. And then if you're right and they get a pirate's mark, yours will go away and you're back in the game. But if you're wrong and you have a mark, you're gonna die and that's bad. There's also a, a final kiss rule. I think that's what it's called, kiss of death rule, that when you get into the duel section where everybody's drawing a card, you can do kiss of death and say that a pirate's mark is gonna show up in the next three turns. And then that can do some stuff too. There's rules for that in the game. I'm not going to go into that. But 
effectively the difference between multiplayer and two player is there's always one less uh, mark than player. So if there's 10 players, there's nine marks and you can come back in if you get marked or you can get knocked out of the game if you get too many marks. So that's the difference. And there's no die rolling, it's bidding. So let's talk about the gameplay. This is effectively a party game. It's a pirate themed party game. Like I mentioned earlier, it's kind of like a giant game of go fish where you're trying to get good cards and stay away from the bad cards because you don't want to get those pirate marks. Um, I've played multiplayer and I've played two player and I actually think that I prefer the two player version a little better. And let me explain why. I like rolling the die and this die is awesome quality. Like I love this die. And I just, I, I like that the, your turn comes around quicker. So, you know, I'm taking my turn, I'm drawing eight cards. I may have to end up drawing more cards based on the cards that I pick. My opponent may have to draw some cards, all that kind of thing. It's just, it seems more interesting because it's, it's less about the auction or the auction, not auctioning, but the bidding and more just about luck of the draw. And I think that's where this game kind of sits with me. It's a lucky game. It's just chilling, having a good time with friends, pulling some cards, trying to stay away from the pirate's mark. And I don't know, I just, I just like it. I feel like it, it plays really well as two. Multiplayer is fine. I think the, the bidding can get kind of bogged down because you can keep going around for a long time in one turn before anybody says anything, especially if you're bidding in increments of one. So like if I start at five, you know, it could go all the way around to like 20 before someone calls somebody out. And then, you know, you've spent 10 minutes playing the game and haven't done anything. So I, yeah, I get the I get the point of it. It makes the stakes a little higher. I understand that. But I think the two player game just brings us down to the way that I want to play it. And that's just rolling some dice, pulling some cards, trying to get luckier than your opponent. I like luck in games, and I like games that are full of luck and just silly and fun. And I think that's where this is for me. So, two-player game, I'm going to give this a BGM accepted seal. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. And that's a 3.5 wrenches out of 5 on our arbitrary wrench scale. That means absolutely nothing. But we give it the games that we enjoy. Now, multiplayer, I haven't played as much, so I'm not going to give it a ranking there. But as a two-player experience, it's good. So that was Pirate's Mark. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics. And as always, keep gaming.